How do you handle um, planning in terms of, I mean, we're in this situation right now where um, most of the country is on lockdown and you have a season coming up and there's a draft coming up. Uh, how, do you, how do you handle all these plans that are in flux? Um, fluidly, like we've just tried to stay. So we actually just met with our group, um, all of our signed roster so far uh, last week. And um, our approach to this thing is that we're going to plan with all of these unknowns and all the, this uncertainty, we're going to plan for every scenario that we can possibly think of and just try to get creative and um, figure out how we can make something work if we can, you know, if the health of the world, uh, certainly our country um, and our communities allow us to. And if, um, if it's the, the smart, responsible thing to do, then we want to figure out how we can, we can work within that um, structure and framework to just plan ahead and try to be prepared for any scenario. So um, I think that the thing for me and I know for our GM and for the mayor is really just, we want, we're aware that this is, it's, we're all feeling this together. And I think we're all feeling a lot of similar feelings, but it's a very individualized um, perspective and experience in it all, you know, how you may feel about going outside your house could be different than how I feel, you know, going to the grocery store, how we're just approaching our social responsibility. And I know that for me as the leader, I want to make sure that our players know that we are taking all of that into consideration and that we our number one priority is to protect their health, um, our, our entire organization's health, but, but more so the, the health of the community and um, our country and doing our, our responsible part in uh, how this thing goes. And so what I said to them last week and the mayor and our GM, Tony Kalmine, reiterated it as well is just that we're not going to make any decisions or announcements about plans until we feel like it's respectful and responsible for what's going on in the greater scope of things. Um, after all, it's just softball. It is our livelihood and our passion and it's what we've planned for. So we, um, we don't take that lightly either, but the biggest concern right now is, is how this thing goes. And so what we're trying to do kind of behind the scenes is prepare, like I said, for all the scenarios possible that we feel um, are realistic in what the outlook is. And then just when the time comes to be able to set plans and, and make final decisions, then we will do so. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's been freaking it's a lot. It's yeah. been crazy. It's, uh, it's a lot. I mean, even just adjusting who uh, our roster, because, because there is not going to be a draft because of the eligibility, like waiting for the decisions from the NCAA yeah. and eligibility yeah. granted back. And then, seeing how that trickles down and, you know, you know, like I basically went like this to our draft list, <laughs> throw it out, um, which is awesome because I think ultimately I know for, um, for us at UMSL, we wanted our student athletes to be able to at least have the decision. Like I, we wanted them to have the opportunity to decide whether they got to use that year or not. Um, and so we feel really fortunate that that decision was made. Um, the way it was, but uh, the the way it's affected the bandits and, and professional level is just, you know, who you you anticipated to potentially draft is no longer. So now, yeah. now um, we've, uh, we've been lucky because we have some very loyal, committed uh, bandits who were Olympians, um, who are Olympians, who were, because they hit pause on their tour and they were uh, waiting for the decision on, the postponement of the Olympics and all of that. Uh, so we were able to re-sign Chittister and re-sign Flippin and Ocasio when Japan uh, postponed their spring half of their season, she re-signed and things like that, that kind of kept us um, our roster number higher than 11. <laughs> <laughs> I was maybe going to have to suit back up and we don't need matches. 